So you can really feel that we're on the home stretch now. Um, I've put on the black stripe with the uh, white separator stripes, and I've put on all the handrails and touched them up uh, with the uh, Poly S engine black. Look really nice. I had to make a couple of handrails here because I broke a couple of these uh, end extensions. Um, putting them on, press fit. Uh, the uh, they don't hold up very well under too much force. And I had to, in uh, Bachman's great um, skill here, they included the wrong uh, cut levers. Uh, they included two of the, what would be, I guess, the right-hand side of the pilot um, for this end. So I had ended up having to make my own. Um, so I used uh, real fine brass wire, as did um, these two uh, grab rails here next to the cab. Uh, the grab rails here on the front, on the nose of the locomotive, are the same detail part. Um, but I did not, uh, I did not have to repaint those. So we are on to touching up with the uh, uh, True Color Paint uh, Scarlet Red. I've got a little bit of acetone here that I'm going to use to uh, touch up, and I've got a older brush, and I'm going to be real careful about this. And in fact, I'm going to use uh, Post-it notes to dab a little of that red off there before I get started painting so I don't have an excess of paint on my brush. And again, we're just uh, touching up uh, corners and stuff here. Not sure exactly what happened, um, but this stuff came up with the masking tape as it came off of the model. I didn't expect that to happen. I primed the model, you saw with a rattle can. Uh, Rust-Oleum, Primer Gray, uh, that seemed to go on real well, and I had no reason to suspect we were going to take, uh, and I'm going to be extra careful here with this, around that headlight housing. Uh, we're probably going to touch that up to gray, and I've used a uh, very small, the smallest size micro brush available to uh, paint white on the uh, end rails grabs. Um, the cut levers and the uh, step edges and what I do is I just uh, dab the uh, the micro brush in a little bit of hobby paint this is cheap acrylic uh, hobby paint from Hobby Lobby I believe and then what I like to do is is uh, squeeze the excess paint out by running it on the the uh, post-it note a little bit and effectively what you've got is a uh, is a paint marker here with this uh, fine tip and it works very well for these small hard to get in places and uh, makes uh, pretty short work out of out of this task I think doing this really dresses up the locomotive uh, makes it look real in some ways um, that highlight uh, sort of calls attention to some of the more smaller detail parts on there. And uh, I like it. Um, one last thing to paint here is the headlight housings and the stack. I have to check my rep references on that just to make sure we're doing the right thing. But I believe um, probably a silver on there and silver on the stack, I believe. But just getting, getting rid of that obvious... Um, paint that was missing there, that red. You can see that the uh, decals, the uh, uh, Circus City gra Graphics uh, decals um, shrunk way down over those louvers and stuff. Uh, looks really nice. Uh, credit the uh, Microscale, Ma Microsol and Microset for some of that. Um, but uh, also the, uh, the fineness of the uh, printing of the decals helps as well. So appreciate... Uh, that look again um, just use micro micro microsol and microset in there as you can see on the nose of the locomotive and around these louvers and things uh, that uh, that decal film sunk in in there really well and uh, sunk in around the uh, the window sashes around the cab and looks really nice um, I think that's all the red we have to touch up here. Um, we've got a little black from the handrail painting there that I'm going to cover up as well. 
looks like we are ready to go with the white highlights and then the project will be finished. And some quick research does show that the uh, exhaust stack on this unit uh, does seem to be sort of a silver-ish colored. I'm not sure. It looks pretty dirty as you'd expect a diesel's exhaust to be. Um, so I've got some... Uh, Eh, what are we using here? Um, this is, again, just cheap um, hobby paint that I'm using uh, to, to apply this color here. And uh, we're not going to do a stand-up job of covering this because in the pictures it looks pretty, like, dirty, dirty sooty, sooty, weathered. Um, so we're not going to make this stand out. And I'm just going to... Regarding the uh, headlight housing, I don't want that painted the same as the uh, body color. I'm just going to hit the gasket around it. I'm just using cheap hobby paint here. Uh, looks like uh, sterling silver to paint the headlight housing and the, uh, the exhaust stack. And I didn't go out of my way to uh, do a real good job covering the exhaust stack. And the rationale to that is, is that uh, there's black underneath there. And uh, most diesel locomotives, you wouldn't expect to see that uh, real clean and shiny anyway. So, And here what we're doing is we're painting the uh, different color on the uh, headlight housing here. And making sure the uh, paint doesn't dribble in there. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, we might touch up around that stack a little bit with the black. Um, but I'm happy the way that turned out. Um, little little paint there so rounding out this project um i we're here in the sioux city yard um the last step here is probably to to uh, apply a little bit of dull coat uh, just to protect the decals and the uh, the paint overall i'm satisfied with the way this turned out um, you might notice that i am missing couplers here on both ends of the engine um, i'll let him supply those and also um, the fuel tank detail, but the fuel tank is probably the first thing he'll take off of there uh, when he gets started on the DCC installation, and uh, that's uh, assigned to someone other than me anyway. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video series, and we'll make sure you hit that like button, uh, sub subscribe for more, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching.